But third, <clears throat> you need, even if you had those two things, you need courage to face what might be possible for you. As I have worked with people over the years, <clears throat> it's become very evident to me that if one is flagging in courage, you will go to denial because it's too overwhelming. But a lot of folks have a tremendous uh, difficulty in having courage. And I thought and I thought and thought about this a long time, trying to figure out why don't people have courage. And then <clears throat> it began to be more and more clear to me that uh, there's another element. You have to have energy or you will not have courage. And so if you don't have energy, and therefore you don't have courage, you won't be able to face either what's possible for you, and you certainly won't be able to face what's wrong. Now, how does one have energy? Here I agree uh, with uh, the great Paul Tillich, I think you have you get energy through faith. Now faith, uh, <clears throat> I also used I use this the way uh, that Tillich used it. So you sort of either have it or you don't. It doesn't mean you believe something. It doesn't mean you feel a certain way. It doesn't even mean you will a certain thing. Faith means that, in fact, discernibly, you're hooked up to something that pulls you together, that has juice. You're hooked up to something, we can say this, that mediates juice, I like to say. So there's a kind of a phenomenological thing about faith. That is to say, if you see, everyone has some faith or they would be dead. Uh, all of their systems would be fragmented and, and quiescent. Faith is that phenomenon of yourself being pulled together. There is something pulling you together, pulling you together against the forces that would try to destroy you. And so it pulls you together and enables you to stand into your life. So it's not a question of do you have faith by the virtue of the fact that you're sitting here you have faith. The issue is, how powerful is this? If I really look carefully at myself, is what I'm hooked up to, am I getting enough juice through this, pulling me, pulling me into integration, that I can resist the fragmenting forces that are coming at me from without and within. So all of us at any particular time are somewhere uh, on a kind of a continuum. Uh, you will notice that uh, some days you actually have more faith than others. And it's something you just simply can look at it. Uh, am I... Am I being pulled together so that I can step into my life with courage and face my possibilities and face uh, those things which are uh, trying to kill me? You know, does that make sense? Okay. And one of the things to do when, you know, I always do when I'm uh, teaching people uh, about you know, uh, spiritual direction or spiritual leadership, as I say, 
what you do with, with, with anyone is you simply try to look and see what the state of faith in this person is. And then you look at what their faith is in. Or in other words, you could put it this way. What is mediating their faith? Because they may think their religion is religion A. And they may have very, hard, very passionate commitment to this dogma of this religion. <clears throat> but if you look close at them, they may be hooked up and be connected to the juice through a person. It may be coming in through a person. It may be coming in through an image of themselves. Uh, but you folks that are really wonderful, uh, you know, uh, you know, your faith can actually be in an image of yourself. And the interesting thing is that if you're getting the juice that's pulling you together and enabling you to stand against the destructive forces in your life, it is working somewhat. And I started out by saying there's a way in which all faiths are idolatrous to some degree. So uh, even idolatrous faiths are faiths and because they mediate power. They mediate juice that pulls a person together to some degree or the other. So as you're looking at yourself on the spiritual issue, you can ask yourself, well, how, how is my faith? Am, you know, am I, am I accessing energy that's pulling me together so I can step into my life? resist the forces of destruction that are trying to destroy me? What is mediating it to me? Where am I connecting with it? Maybe a woman, you know, maybe a, a career fantasy. You follow me? Uh, but if you look closely, there is, there is some place where you're hooked in, where you're plugged in, I like to say. You're plugged in somewhere. It's very important to look at that because uh, a faith can be in something uh, that is really going to disappoint you later. Yeah, see. And uh, and uh, so, but but the fifth thing is is faith, the element of faith, because. If you have no faith, even idolatrous faith, it's, you can say it like this, idolatrous faith is better than no faith at all. See? Because without, idol without faith, I mean, it, you know, uh, then you're in real danger of, uh, of dis having your despair kill you. One of the things we all struggle with is despair. And you